Hey guys, we're back on the boat here. Going to do some uh, some more winter maintenance. It's uh, March 1st, 2020, and uh, it's only about I'm going to say 30 degrees here in uh, in uh, New Baltimore, New York. So, got a few things we're going to do today. That I've been working on throughout the uh, the winter so far. Ordered some more LED lights. Got them nice and cheap on uh, Amazon, I believe. Uh, over the winter, sprayed the uh, canvas up top with some Scotch Guard, cleaned all the vinyl, and uh, worked on that. Uh, we sanded and stained the flagpole, so uh, we got that all ready for the summer. It's our flag. Uh, what else we got? We used cleaning the uh, the Isinglass up top. We used some Starbright uh, plastic restorer just to get some of the uh, haze out of it and some of the light scratches. Got a new LED anchor light, which we're going to be installing. What else we got? Here's some of that Gorilla Glue you may have seen me use fixing the, the lights that, uh, that had broken. Picked up some fish tape to snake some wires up through uh, the helm area. And we also have the the light fixture that we fix with the Gorilla Glue. I'm going to be installing that today. Well, we also picked up some new lights to install in the uh, cabins, the staterooms. The, uh, the direct lighting, the originals uh, are plastic and they've been breaking over time. So I found these RV lights, 12 volt LED um, surface mount reading lights. They're made of aluminum apparently, aluminum and plastic I guess, but a lot more robust than the original ones in there. So I've already installed a couple of these in the front cabin. They work great. Um, so I'm going to put these also now in the aft cabin. So uh, I'll give a little more information on those. Those They were only about, I don't know, maybe $30, $30 or so. Um, so. We'll take a look at that. I'll leave a link for that. I'm going to be replacing the anchor light, the original incandescent light with an LED, which I picked up from West Marine for about 20 bucks. It's the double contact bayonet style. You need to make sure you get the one with the offset pins. They have two types. There's one with the pins that are in line and these are offset. So I'm going to save a few uh, watts of power when uh, we're on battery. This is only two watts. I believe the original was 10 watts, so the LED uses quite a bit less power, <clears throat> which is good when you're anchored overnight. So I took the mass light down so it's easy to work on. It's actually been down for the winter time anyway. But it's fairly easy to take apart. All you do is twist the, this top piece and it comes right off. So to take the light apart, you don't need to remove any of the screws. There was a cap on top here, but that's not holding this part on. You just twist it, and it comes right off. There's a few, few notches that line up. There is a gasket in here. You want to make sure you don't lose that. There's the old bulb. To remove it, push down, pull it out. You can see the uh, bayonet lug. And I don't know if you can see the pins that are offset here, but... Replacement is easy to do. Just got to line the pins up the right direction. That's it. You push down, twist it, and that's in. Replace the cover, twist it snug, and that's it. It's done. Won't be able to test it until I get the shrink wrap off and put everything up but I'm sure it'll be fine. 